Welcome to the Julie Tussie Show Fabulous Cooking. I'm so glad to have you back today in the kitchen. We are going to be cooking the most amazing recipe. Okay, I did a poll on Facebook and everyone wanted my family recipe for meatloaf. I'm also going to be cooking smashed rosemary potatoes, not mashed, smashed. And that is a whole new thing you're going to really, really enjoy. We're going to serve that with fresh baby peas and butter. Oh, it's going to be so good. Stay tuned and you're going to really see what we're doing on the Julie Tussie Show Fabulous Cooking. I'd like to introduce you to a really good friend of mine that I've invited to come and cook with me today. His name is Curtis Rose. Hi, Curtis. Hi, Julie. Thanks <laughs> for having you? me. I'm good. How are you? Good. It's so good, good to man. have you. Thanks. Thank you so much for coming and cooking Thank with you for me today. Me. Now you're a realtor here in Richmond. I am, and I just so happen to be selling this beautiful house that we're in right now. Yeah. You yeah. and Gary did amazing on Thank this house. Thank you. Yes, Tussie Homes is our construction company and our home building company, and. Gary designed this when we were on vacation in Panama City. Yep. And, and you it's can called sure the Panama it. and it is beautiful. And it's actually one of the rare two stories that has an open floor plan. That right. takes a lot of engineering and Gary's just great at it. And so let's get to the meatloaf today. <laughs> I'm telling you, I was really surprised on the poll that so many people like meatloaf. So I'm from a big Italian family, in case you don't remember, if you watch this show very long, you'll know. <laughs> anyway. Um, you can hear it in your voice. Too. Yeah, I can you? <laughs> the cheek bone. Okay, I got it going on there again. No choice about it. Um, this, this recipe, Curtis, I like to make a lot, and this is because I have a large family, mm -hmm. number one. But number two, meatloaf leftover is a fantastic food to eat during the week and to feed your family. It's fast. You can reheat it. Serve it with mashed potatoes and whatever you're going to do. And you can also um, make sandwiches out of it. So I have, Never I know, and I'm doing a cookbook. So I put all this in my cookbook stuff so you can get it. But you guys are going to love this recipe. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take two pounds of ground sirloin. Now, I like ground sirloin because it's a little leaner. Uh -huh. um, you can go as far as like an organic meat, whatever your, whatever your fitness uh, goals are in your family. Because on the Julie Tussie show, Fabulous Cooking, I like to do original recipes and teach you how to make them fit and fabulous. There you go. Sounds good to me. You know, I've lost 24 <laughs> pounds through my 30 years forever. And mm -hmm. it was really hard and I did it, but I wanted the full flavor of my food that I grew up on and of the foods that I have acquired taste for, like Mexican and things like that. So, so we'll be giving you, yeah, my, my soul, soul food, food, my comfort <laughs> food. <Yeah. laughs> But I'm kind of a healthy eater anyway, mm -hmm. so you know it works out. So we're going to start out with two pounds. Now you can cut this recipe in half. We will um, we will put the recipe on the JulieTussieShow.com. That's my website, and you can go and print it off yourself. Okay. Can you believe that? <laughs> so to start out, we're going to take this hamburger, and we're going to begin to add our ingredients. We're going to take a um, <clears throat> excuse me an onion. I like a sweet onion, a Vidalia onion. Um, is my favorite. So, do you cut onions up very much, Curtis? I do not. Okay, I, there's... I normally wear swimming goggles when I do because they make me cry. <laughs> really? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> well, we did. We should have brought your goggles, brother. That would have been amazing. So, it, there is a trick to cutting onions, and I'm. I think they're getting this on camera. So, you you cut it in half, okay, and then you cut both ends off, and that kind of cutting the. They say if you leave this on, you will cry less. So if you leave it to the last, Curtis, that'll help you with your goggle situation. Okay. And then I just take and peel the first layer off like a bust and get that skin off. Sometimes I just like, okay, it's not coming off easy, so I'm taking the whole chunk. <laughs> okay, I don't have time for that. We're about fast and easy on this program for you. So, and then you just begin to dice it. You don't cut all the way to the complete back of your onion. And however close these lines are together, that's how little your, uh, your onion pieces are gonna be. So you do that, and then you just simply start doing thin slices. You know, I learned this. Um, I had a job when I was like 16 or 15 in this little ice cream stand, and they cooked the best food, French fries and hamburgers and stuff. And I was just a youngster, and the owner took me aside, and he said, Julie, let me teach you how to cut onion. <laughs> so that's how I learned. And so that, here we are, ta-da! So we're going to take That's that, amazing. Yeah, put that in the pan, in the bowl, I mean. All right, so we got that. Then we're going to take a beautiful, mm, I love these. Do you <laughs> love green peppers? I love peppers. They're my favorite. 
I love green peppers. I can eat them raw or cooked or anything. And you cut this in half also. Now, this is what it looks like inside. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a monster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually taken pictures of this and people are like, what is what that? What is that? Yeah. And then you just cut out the, the seed base or the core. Well, I like to call it a core. And then I just like, okay, spank it. We don't, we don't do anything halfway. We spank the seeds right out of there like that. <laughs> then I cut it in quarters. And then I do the same thing kind of with the onion. And I don't like to cut from this side, Curtis, uh -huh. because that makes it harder to cut the, the green peppers. The yeah, the skin's tougher. So just take the tip of your knife and put it down and begin to do this. And you don't cut all the way to the back. Nope. I kind of, the back is kind of like my handle. Yeah. You know, it's what keeps it going. And then you do the same thing. Now with a meatloaf, um, some men like big chunks of vegetables and stuff like that. If you're going to do big chunks, you're going to want to saute these vegetables first uh -huh. because it takes, they don't get, I really don't like al dente or firm vegetables in a meatloaf. Uh -huh. And then I just cut the rest up and get it. Um, so you'll want to saute if you're using big chunks. I like to do it a little bit finer. Okay, so there's one. See how you just kind of ribbon it yeah. with the tip. Now I'm really, I really have my knife up and I'm using the tip. And so we pop those in. That Isn't that, so oh, good. doesn't it look good? So I use two eggs for every pound of hamburger. Um, I know some people use one, but that it makes it um, not as tough. Tussie Homes, located in the heart of Kentucky, is known for their excellence and quality and craftsmanship. These original design homes are exactly what you and your family are looking for. To see a Tussie home, call Curtis Rose of Keller Williams at 859-358-9304. You can follow us on Facebook to see exclusive photos and projects. Tussie Homes, welcome home. Granite, marble, and quartz for any surface. Make a lifetime commitment you won't regret. Hey, this is Julie Tussie. I want to invite you to listen to my podcast, The Julie Tussie Show. It's a lifestyle podcast for women. I'm also known as the Big Blonde Baby, and I like to bring you the fastest, funniest, most informative 30 minutes of your life. Yes, with me, no topic is off limits, but in this unpredictable and exciting show, I like to focus on women's health, fitness, fashion, current events, and women's lifestyles. This edgy, funny, and informative podcast is just what you need to quote unquote live your life to the fullest. Find me on iHeartRadio, Spreaker, and iTunes. The Julie Tussie Show podcast. You're going to love it. So we're going to put four eggs in this. We're going to put in some salt and pepper. Okay. And you know, last month I made my sexy egg sandwich. Okay. So I now my secret sexy ingredient in this, you guys. Okay. Secret ingredient. Ketchup in it. Ketchup in it. Not only on top, but. And in I'm it pretty as well. generous. Let me see what I say. Oh, on my recipe, I wrote ketchup. I didn't even <laughs> put it in them out. And I just, I like to be generous. I like, I do not want it to be a big chunk of hard meat when yeah. I'm done. I want it to have this robust flavor. I want it to be tender when I cut it. Then when you make it in sandwiches, it's so good because it's softer. So that's what we do with that. And now the grand finale. You put crackers I in it? I put crackers in it. Now you can put rice in it if you're gluten free. Uh -huh. You can use Italian breadcrumbs, which is amazing. It gives it just a touch of an Italian flavor. Uh -huh. Really, really good. But this is, this is my family's recipe. So you just open the end of your sleeve and then you're going to crush the crackers like an accordion. All right, now I'm gonna put three fourths of this in. If you get too many, your meatloaf will be dry. So that's about three fourths right there. 
All right, and now Curtis and I were talking about this. I don't like my hands to get dirty. I'm so prissy, it's terrible. So being a hairdresser, do you know what I had on hand? Gloves. Black gloves. I recommend <laughs> that you wear, if you, I, I mean, wear gloves, make sure they're clean, but you can get these at, at a beauty supply store and pop them out. They're great for cutting jalapenos and stuff like that. And onions. And onions. <laughs> exactly. Cutting anything. Anything. Just don't so. forget your swim goggles. <laughs> <laughs> why didn't, why I didn't, didn't we cry. wear some? You didn't cry at all. I'm so proud. <laughs> so here I go. Okay. So we're just going to incorporate this. Just, just go in and. Just go in and like squish it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. <laughs> what a beautiful sight, Curtis. What a beautiful sight. Scripture. Yeah. <laughs> in there too. I can't. I can't do it. Yes. See how it's getting, uh, it's, I it's don't know. It's all mixing together. Creamy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like creaming together. I all right. That's beautiful. That don't take those off. Okay. So now we're going to grab a nine by 13 pan, glass pan. Okay. And I'm going to let you scrape that in. Okay. Beautiful. Let me we pop it out. We're going to pat it out. Now, Curtis, what I do is I make the edges, I make the meatloaf go like that. Yes, yeah, so that the edges are a little bit lower, like this, all the way to the... Oh, I get it. Yeah, just so it's kind mm. of a con, convex shape. It's a good aesthetic. Yeah, well, and it helps if you have a fatter meatloaf that the... You can take those off now, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Curtis, You're for doing welcome. that. So that helps when you kind of push the edges down in if you have a fatter meat, because some people like to do a really heavy fat meat. I uh -huh. don't do that, but um, it helps the meat, the fats to kind of go over to the edge yeah. and out, out of the meat a little bit. All right, and so now here's some more um, amazing toppings. I don't know about you with meatloaf, but I like, if I'm gonna eat it, I like, I like this much of a sauce on top. I'm a saucy girl. Yep. All right, I'm a saucy girl. <laughs> So I take six ounces of tomato paste. Okay, I don't I don't season it, I don't do anything. I I just take tomato paste. Six ounces, is that six, one can? That's one of those little cans. Okay. Yes. And I like to use organic if I can. If you're doing fit and fabulous, uh, what you're gonna replace in this is you are going to do a rice instead of your crackers and you are going to do um, anything organic, all, anything organic that you can. And I would recommend Laura's lean beef, uh -huh. but you'll wanna make sure you do not, that you use large eggs, cause that could get a little bit, um, you know, hard to cut and tough. So is the tomato paste what's always on the top? No, is no. Is it normally ketchup? I, it's normally ketchup, so here's my trick, okay? Put some ketchup the on. Ketchup. Too. Oh, we put the ketchup on, brother. <laughs> now you can use as much or as little, but this actually bakes. And what I love about the ketchup is that when you make sandwiches, you put Miracle Whip or mayonnaise on your bread, and then you have this ketchup sauce on top. It's fantastic. You know, I don't like ketchup, but I will say whenever there's something about when you bake ketchup, yeah, it, it changes the flavor. Yeah, of it. it's better. So there much you better. go. So and see, put just put a on good portion of yeah. ketchup. Yeah, well, and I gotta spread it around. Cause you're saucy. I'm a saucy <laughs> girl. Uh, my girls are very saucy too. I called them the condiment kids when they were little. <laughs> but see, I like that. That's how I like it. You can put as much or as little as you want. Then I do a little bit more salt and pepper. You know, sandwiches are be reheated. You want lots of flavor. And then, okay, here's my secret. Gary doesn't know I do this. Garlic just, powder? Just a teeny bit. If you get too much, it'll override the flavor, but just, just a dusting. So there you that have it. That looks great. Doesn't it look beautiful? We are going to make my rosemary smashed potatoes with cream. You are going to love these, Curtis. Smashed They're potatoes? They're smashed. You know, some people get smashed, but in my life, we smash potatoes. Okay. <laughs> but you can actually use any kind of potato that you want. Um, and I prefer a smaller potato. The music in this program is available on Julie's latest CD, Big Blonde Baby. Get your copy at cdbaby.com forward slash CD forward slash Julie Tussie 2.
Again, that's cdbaby.com forward slash cd forward slash Julie Tussie 2. Granite, marble, and quartz for any surface. Make a lifetime commitment you won't regret. Hey, this is Julie Tussie. I want to invite you to listen to my podcast, The Julie Tussie Show. It's a lifestyle podcast for women. I'm also known as the Big Blonde Baby, and I like to bring you the fastest, funniest, most informative 30 minutes of your life. Yes, with me, no topic is off limits, but in this unpredictable and exciting show, I like to focus on women's health, fitness, fashion, current events, and women's lifestyles. This edgy, funny, and informative podcast is just what you need to quote unquote live your life to the fullest. Find me on iHeartRadio, Spreaker, and iTunes. The Julie Tussie Show podcast. You're going to love it. Tussie Homes, located in the heart of Kentucky, is known for their excellence and quality and craftsmanship. These original design homes are exactly what you and your family are looking for. To see a Tussie home, call Curtis Rose of Keller Williams at 859-358-9304. You can follow us on Facebook to see exclusive photos and projects. Tussie Homes, welcome home. Now, I have a secret. I actually take the potatoes, I wash them, dry them, put, uh, I'm using avocado oil, but you can use avocado oil or um, olive oil. Okay. And I coat them and then put coarse salt on them, put them in the microwave, and I start at five minutes. It takes about seven minutes to do four potatoes that are like medium to small. Just kind of check them after five minutes till they're fork tender, and that means you want your fork to go in, and it's not going to, you don't feel a lump or anything hard in there, Okay. That's insane so. to me that you microwave potatoes. I know. I mic- done so quick. And you know what, Curtis? I do this all the time. And when I do them, I do extra because you can serve them for your meal like a baked potato. You can cut them up and for breakfast when they're cold and yeah. do onions and green peppers and potatoes in a frying pan yeah. for, to go with eggs. Amazing. So you can always use them. So to start, we have a nice cookie sheet and we're going to oil it really well. How you like my fancy oil jar? I love it. Now, I do have a question for you. Sure. Why do you use avocado oil? Healthy, healthy, healthy for your heart. Okay. Fit and fabulous. Yep. (laughs) Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I want it to be on the pan really, really well. You know how I feel about my hands being dirty, so there we go. (laughs) (laughs) Then you take the potatoes. Now, I would normally do six, but today we're only doing four. You lay them on the baking sheet. They're actually still hot, Curtis, but they can be cold. You don't have to do all this in one day even. So then to make the smashed part, here comes the fun. You just simply take a jar. You can actually do a potato smasher, you know, a masher. Yeah. But I don't want the meat of the potato really to come up too much. I want to do this. So you just smash it till it's down like that. Huh. So it's kind of like a smash brown. <laughs> smash brown. <laughs> You're gonna make like it a works. smash brown. <laughs> what this is doing is when this these edges are exposed like this, uh-huh. that's going to get really crispy in the oven. All right, now I'm going to Microwave salt and them, pepper. Smash them, put them in the oven. Salt and pepper them. There's a little pepper. Now I know you can see these beautiful aprons that we have on. I um I'm kind of like a nut yeah I'm sporting it for Julie <laughs> I know what a good you are such a good sport thank you but um I'm actually going to be selling these on my website the julietussieshow.com/shop that now that's a dangerous slash dangerous shop. place for women <laughs> to know shop. about slash shop they're like um, a burlap feeling yeah this one is like going to be like I have them. a 1950s line uh-huh. and because I love to do the rockabilly throwback and then I have a floral line and then I have a 1920s line okay and i can only get so many of them so if you go on and you like them get them then because they're gonna they're not gonna last long but we thought we'd put them on and show you how cute we were all right so these are rosemary smashed potatoes so have you ever wow i know it's like you you kind of want to like waft it in the air at your house it's it's strong yeah it does remind you of christmas 
So to use rosemary, there's a big stem in the middle and you're just going to start peeling. I just start peeling off and if it tears, I just wanna put a little bit of rosemary on here. Okay, like this. I like to tear it up a little bit. Here, Curtis, you can help me. Now, I also am going to throw some in the oil on the pan, okay? Because what it's gonna do is it's gonna almost burn, it's gonna brown, and it's really good on. I don't know if anybody else does this. Too. Yeah, rosemary's really cool. Um, you can actually take chicken breast, and you can put rosemary and oil in the bottom of your pan, put a chicken breast on it, and put a weight on it and then flip it and make rosemary chickens, fantastic. Done with it? Yep, I'm done. Ooh, that looks amazing. And there you go, they're about to go in the oven. Ooh, they're slippery devils. <laughs> we'll be right back. Good. Mm. These potatoes are cooking pretty fast. So we have our fabulous family meatloaf recipe out and does that look great? Mm. It looks great look and this. it smells even oh, better. <laughs> it's so good. So we're gonna begin to plate this up. Now, Curtis, when you take hey. your meatloaf out of the oven, you're gonna wanna let it set 10, 15 minutes out on the top of your stove so that it firms up and it's not so hot. It, sometimes when you cut it when it's really hot, it just falls apart. Okay. okay? So we're gonna begin to plate this up. We're gonna cut it. Look at that. Isn't that delish? Looks fantastic. <laughs> I think we should have music for this. We should be dancing. <laughs> we're going to be dancing. So we're going to take a plate. Let me get the, the corner so you can see. Doesn't that look good? Yes. Let me see. Oh. Tussie Homes, located in the heart of Kentucky, is known for their excellence and quality and craftsmanship. These original design homes are exactly what you and your family are looking for. To see a Tussie home, call Curtis Rose of Keller Williams at 859-358-9304. You can follow us on Facebook to see exclusive photos and projects. Tussie Homes, welcome home. Granite, marble, and quartz for any surface. Make a lifetime commitment you won't regret. Hey, this is Julie Tussie. I want to invite you to listen to my podcast, The Julie Tussie Show. It's a lifestyle podcast for women. I'm also known as the Big Blonde Baby, and I like to bring you the fastest, funniest, most informative 30 minutes of your life. Yes, with me, no topic is off limits, but in this unpredictable and exciting show, I like to focus on women's health, fitness, fashion, current events, and women's lifestyles. This edgy, funny, and informative podcast is just what you need to quote unquote live your life to the fullest. Find me on iHeartRadio, Spreaker, and iTunes. The Julie Tussie Show podcast. You're going to love it. See the saucy. I like the saucy. All right, hold that for me, Curtis. Now, one way to get more fruits and vegetables into your family's diet is these steamer bags. I love these. So I just steamed off some fresh peas. Whenever I'm doing my meals, I like to add a lot of color. Do you, yes. do you Curtis? And I color like to add, good. okay, I'm old school. It's only like a half of a patch, but I'm going to put a little teeny bit of butter on top. Some people are doing keto, and they would like put a half a pound yeah. in there and be happy, but <laughs> a little bit salt little bit of pepper. Grab a spoon. I'm going to serve that up on our plate. Stirring it in. All right. And so there's some peas. And now we're going to get our smashed. Let me hold this potatoes. for you a minute. Yep. We're going to get our smashed potatoes out of the oven. Yeah, they, are. they look amazing. Oh my goodness. Look at this, Curtis. Yeah. I can smell oh. that rosemary too. Yes. And look how it browned on the pan. Mm -hmm. Now, don't let me hurt myself on that pan because I have been known to grab one. Okay, while so it's hot. Don't do that. Be thou careful. 
<laughs> Let's do this. As you can see, I can't really lift them up, but I can angle them. As you can see, you can make these as brown as you want or as light as you want. Some people like them more like a mashed potato. Yeah. So you want to leave them lighter like this. And the longer you cook them, I'm going to turn it over, the browner they get and the harder it gets on the bottom. So hand me this here. You hold this plate for me, Curtis, if you would. And I'm going to show you how we're going to make them creamy. I know you're going to try that and how you're going to cut it on this plate. <laughs> I don't know. Let me put some up here for you. <laughs> now, Curtis, do you like hot food? I do. All right. So here's sour cream. If you're doing Fit and Fabulous, you're going to want to use the light version. I'm just going to put a dollop on there. Okay. And then if you like it hot and spicy, mm, my favorite, sriracha. <laughs> this is what it would be like, bam. Doesn't that look beautiful? So look at this. Looks amazing. Mm -hmm. Let's try this. Trying it. All right. You want, you want, here, you take this one. You want to try the potato, I can yes. tell. Yes. Let me try this meatloaf. They smell so good. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Can I tell you? Microwave. That was fast. It was, I know, fast and easy on this show, I'm amazing. telling you. Mmm. That is so good. And spicy. Ooh. <laughs> spicy. Thank you so much for watching today. Definitely follow us on YouTube at TME TV and keep on um, following us on Roku, WBON TV. We so, so appreciate you. And it has been a fabulous, fabulous show. I've really enjoyed myself. And I also heard it was someone's 30th birthday again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Happy you, birthday, Curtis. Julie. Thank you. Look how beautiful. I love it. Mm. I love frosting, don't you? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Curtis. I appreciate that. <laughs> yes, I'm going to be 30 again. I'm eternally 30 because that's the best way to be. You don't look a day over it either. <laughs> thank you. Well, I want to thank Bluegrass and Marble and Granite for this beautiful countertop in 965 Auckland Avenue. It's a 2,000 square foot home that Gary and I built with our company, Tessie Homes. If you're looking for a home in Richmond, we are your builders. You are going to love it. There's all kinds of unique, beautiful things. Tile in the bathroom, three bedrooms, two and a half bath, barn wood looking floor. Just gorgeous, isn't it? And Curtis, Absolutely. tell everybody how to reach you. You can call me in. or text me or email me. My phone number is 859-358-9304. My website is curtisroserealtor.com and my email is curtisroserealtor at gmail.com. Yeah, you're so famous. If you want to see it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Curtis, for Thank helping you, me. For I appreciate me. it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Definitely tune in again next time. If life is my oyster, darling, pass the hot sauce.